Hi, welcome to Ultimate Pet Pet. I'm Dr. Gary Richter, and today we're going to talk about bad breath and your pet. Uh, you know, specifically, I think the big question that everybody has or everybody should have is what does it mean if your dog or your cat has bad breath? And honestly, it could mean a number of things. Clearly, it could mean that there's things going on within their mouth. So, for example, do they have uh, gingivitis or inflammation of their gums? Do they have, um, do they have a tooth infection? Uh, these things can cause, you know, bad breath or, 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 or foul odors. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, dogs and cats can also sometimes get growths that develop within their mouth. And that can also be problematic, both from the standpoint of odor, but also as a larger medical issue if those growths turn out to be uh, something serious. Um, so, you know, if, if you see anything unusual in your pet's mouth, redness, a growth, or there's any off odors, it's always a good idea to have your veterinarian have a look and make sure that there's not something serious going on there. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize, however, is there are uh, reasons why your pet might have bad breath that are not directly related to their mouth. Um, you know, so for example, if your dog or your cat has a, has a digestion problem, they're not digesting their food very well, um, sometimes they can be producing gas that is going to have a, a, a pretty foul odor and that may be what you're smelling. Uh, in addition, uh, uh, additionally, sometimes metabolic diseases um, can cause changes in, in their body chemistry. Uh, that can make them have um, bad breath or foul odor. So, uh, you know, for example, uh, if, if, uh, if your dog or your cat is developing kidney disease, um, sometimes the toxins that build up in their bloodstream actually come off in their breath and you can smell that. So, uh, so again, as is the case uh, with, with oral health, if there's any sudden change or, or even a gradual change in your pet's breath, um, have your veterinarian have a look at it uh, so at least we can drill down and figure out what the underlying cause is, is because once you know what the cause is, then you can really start to address what, uh, what the treatment or what the resolution would be. So once you've ruled out any kind of significant medical issue, uh, and really it turns out the bad breath is, is related to dental related uh, problems, you know, there are certainly things that you can do at home uh, to both improve that situation uh, and also to prevent further dental problems from occurring. Uh, so really the, the gold standard when it comes to uh, uh, oral care and dental care with dogs and cats is exactly the same as it is for us and it's toothbrushing. Uh, so brushing your pet's teeth on a regular basis, ideally speaking daily, will go a long, long way uh, towards keeping their breath fresh. Uh, you know, there are, in addition to that, there certainly are other things. Uh, there are dental chews that, that you can give to dogs uh, or even cats and let them chew on those and it will help scrape their teeth uh, clean and get some of the plaque and the tartar off. Um, you know, there's also, uh, from an herbal standpoint, uh, you know, things like cilantro and parsley uh, can really be helpful to freshen uh, a dog or a cat's breath. Uh, however, depending on your dog or your cat, they may or may not want anything to do with something that tastes like cilantro or parsley. Uh, but you can certainly give it a try. Um, it, you know, going beyond that, uh, a lot of people uh, will use bones, uh, you know, give their dog or their cat bones to chew on um, to help clean their teeth. And, and you know, really the, the issue with giving these guys bones is you have to give them the right thing that's safe for them to eat. Uh, so, as a general rule, you can give a dog or a cat an appropriate sized raw bone to chew on um, and that will really help clean their teeth off as they're chewing through it. Um, but I stress it needs to be raw, so in otherwise something that you would buy either refrigerated or frozen uh, at the pet store or potentially uh, you know, at the butcher counter. Uh, we're not talking about the, the bones that you say buy in the pet store that are just sitting there in the bin. Um, cooked bones or antlers or any of those other products, they're so hard that your dog or your cat could literally break teeth on them. So, you know, the, 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 the raw bones are softer and they can chew through them. So it needs to be an appropriate size, uh, you know, so check with your veterinarian uh, about what would be a good size for them to chew on. But sometimes that can be a really great way to keep their teeth clean as well. So hopefully that, uh, that clears up a, a pretty stinky situation. I'm Dr. Gary Richter. Thanks for listening.